Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. The most popular videos on my channel are all of my videos related to punctuation. So today I'm going to teach you how to use commas with adjectives. We're going to talk about coordinate adjectives and cumulative adjectives. If you want more videos on punctuation rules, check the description below this video to see my complete playlist. So first of all, let's talk about commas between coordinate adjectives. So we know that we use a comma to split the items in a list of three or more. For example, we can say, Jared is clever, handsome, and funny. This comma here before the coordinating conjunction and is optional. It's called the Oxford comma. Some people insist on using it and other people say it's not necessary. So just be consistent whether or not you use it. The next example, my costume needs to be bright, fun, and unique. But when should you put a comma between adjectives without a conjunction? So we place commas between coordinate adjectives with no coordinating conjunction between them. So let's look at these examples. Jared is a clever, handsome, funny man. Now here we do not have a coordinating conjunction. We don't have the coordinating conjunction and. And because these are coordinate adjectives, clever, handsome, and funny, they all belong to the same category of adjectives, we can put commas between them. Now, if you want to compare this sentence to this sentence here, here we have to use the coordinating conjunction and because it ends in a list of adjectives. Jared is clever, handsome, and funny. You can't say Jared is clever, handsome, funny. You have to have the coordinating conjunction and. However, when the sentence ends with a noun and the adjectives come before the noun, adding a coordinating conjunction is optional. Jared is a clever, handsome, funny man. It would also be correct to add a coordinating conjunction here if you choose to. You could say Jared is a clever, handsome, and funny man. That would also be correct. Here's another example. I want a bright, fun, unique costume. These are coordinate adjectives that all belong to the same adjective category, and so we must use commas between them. So let's talk a little bit more about what coordinate adjectives are. So we use commas to separate multiple adjectives that describe the same noun when the word and can be placed between them. So for example, she is a clever, ambitious woman. Here we could say she is a clever and ambitious woman. And so this comma replaces the coordinating conjunction and. We stayed at an expensive, luxurious hotel. We could also say we stayed at an expensive and luxurious hotel. And because we can place the word and between them and it sounds okay, we can replace the and with a comma. So if you can add the word and or reverse the order of the adjectives, we use a comma between the adjectives. So we can say she is a clever, ambitious woman, or we could say she is an ambitious, clever woman. It sounds okay either way. We stayed at a luxurious, expensive hotel. This also sounds okay, and so we use a comma between the two coordinate adjectives. Now, cumulative adjectives are two or more adjectives that modify the same noun. However, they belong to different categories, so they have to follow the correct adjective order. Cumulative adjectives cannot be joined by the word and, cannot reverse the order, and do not use a comma. So in previous videos, I have talked about the correct adjective order. We start with opinion, size, shape, age, color, origin, material, and then purpose. These are all adjective types. So we would say, an old American man lives on my street. This would be correct. However, an old comma American man lives on my street would be incorrect. We do not use a comma between the adjectives old and American because these are not coordinate adjectives. They are cumulative adjectives. Old belongs to the age category. American belongs to the origin category, and we can't flip them around. If I said an old and American man lives on my street, that doesn't sound right. Or an American old man lives on my street, that also doesn't sound right. 
Another example: the tall English football player is fantastic. This is correct. We don't use commas between these adjectives. The tall, comma English, comma football player is fantastic would be incorrect because tall and English and football all belong to different adjective categories, and in English there is a natural adjective order. So because we can't reverse this, we can't say the football English tall player is fantastic. That sounds strange. It doesn't sound correct. So we don't use commas between adjectives of different categories. So let's talk more about coordinate adjectives. Coordinate adjectives are separated by a comma. They are correct if you change their order or insert and between them instead of a comma. Coordinate adjectives independently modify the same noun, and they are equally important. So, for example, we played a fun, silly game. This is correct. Fun and silly belong to the same category, an opinion category, and we can reverse them. We could say we played a silly, fun game, or we played a fun and silly game at the party. And because of this, we can use a comma between both adjectives. Another example. It was a hot, sunny day. This is correct. It was a hot, sunny day. Without a comma is incorrect because these both belong to the same category of adjectives, and we can reverse them, and it sounds okay. Another example: He is a sweet, generous, thoughtful boy. This is correct. All of these belong to the same category, the opinion category, and they are coordinate adjectives. So we add commas between each adjective. Okay, so let's do a quiz. You have to correct the following sentences. Some of the sentences may be correct, and some may be incorrect. If they are incorrect, make sure to take away commas or add commas where necessary. Number one, the kind old man gave me a book. Number two, my dirty blue sneakers need to be washed. Number three, she gave me a warm, soft blanket. Number four. George has a kind, considerate teacher. Number five, we had sweet, spicy soup for lunch. Number six, can you pass me my big yellow purse? Number seven, we watched a predictable, boring Christmas movie. Finally, number eight, Santa is a happy, jolly man. Okay, so let's correct these together. When you're correcting these, you need to ask yourself: Are these coordinate adjectives or are they cumulative adjectives? Do they belong in the same category or not? Number one, we have the kind old man. This is incorrect. We do not use a comma between kind and old, and that's because we can't say the kind and old man. And we wouldn't say the old kind man. We can't reverse these adjectives. Kind is from the opinion category, and old is from the age category. So these are cumulative adjectives. We don't have a comma between them. Number two is correct. My dirty blue sneakers. We don't have a comma between them because these are cumulative adjectives. Number three is correct. She gave me a warm, soft blanket. Warm and soft are coordinate adjectives. They belong to the same category. Number four is incorrect. George has a kind, considerate teacher. These are coordinate adjectives, so we have to add a comma between them. Number five is also incorrect. We had sweet, comma, spicy soup for lunch. Sweet and spicy are coordinate adjectives, so we add a comma between them. Now, number six. Can you pass me my big yellow purse? This is correct as it is. Big and yellow are not coordinate adjectives. They don't belong to the same category, so we don't add a comma between them. Number seven is incorrect. We watched a predictable, boring Christmas movie. Predictable and boring both belong to the same. Adjective category, so these are coordinate adjectives, and we add a comma between them.、And、finally, number eight is also incorrect. We have Santa is a happy, jolly man. 
Happy and jolly both belong to the same adjective category. They are coordinate adjectives, and so we add a comma between them. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of eight, and if you have any questions about coordinate or cumulative adjectives. If you want more help on punctuation rules, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. I want to wish everyone a happy new year, and I will see you in my next video.